Greetings, comrades. Welcome back to the Workers and Resources Charlevinsk Realistic Waste Update Research Update Extravaganza. <laughs> Name, work in progress, pending, trademarked, restricted. Palace of Communism is done. All right. And uh, so people are flooding in there, hopefully learning all about our glorious republic and its history and uh, maybe Lenin. He's over here. I just realized I don't actually have a Lenin, Lenin monument, at least not a really good one. Uh, really close to this. There's a big one there and a small one here. But, I mean, I feel like probably could have had, like, this grand courtyard in front of this thing instead of just having it surrounded by roads. So, maybe we'll look at uh, doing that differently in another city at some point, yeah? The city... Is, is, is doing quite well, but we do have a small problem, okay? We have incredibly low unemployment. And by incredibly low, I mean 0%. Which means we can't grow. We can't expand. We can't make more than we already are making, right? We, we, we have to be able to get that. And that requires us to have people and more and more people. So I could get going on Cernakova. And I, I think I, I think I want to get going on Cernakova, but it's not about housing. It's about just the population growing itself. We're just not there yet. So we have plenty of space for people to live, right? And uh, I think there was at some point, I saw somebody couldn't reach a doctor over here. Uh, walking wise, they just can't get there. What they could do, of course, is take the bus and then we're there and then there's the doctor right there. But uh, I don't know. I, I'm debating on whether or not I want to put a clinic over here or not. And that, because this building is working more often now, the food factory, uh, I did want to take, take a really quick look at the pollution. And we can see that it's still green here. I got a feeling, though, that if this starts working full blast and these two buildings start working full blast, I got a feeling that's going to get into like, yellow territory right there. So I want to take whatever steps I can to reduce that impact. But uh, I think I've already done most of the research for that, aside from the medical stuff. So medical stuff, we can get in with the toughening. This is going to help them in the cold. Vitamins, this is going to help make them more resilient to pollution. I like this idea. I'd like to get vitamins going. And then because we need more people, that's our big thing. The increase in birth rate is something that we kind of desperately need right now. So... I think our focus now shifts from establishing all those other things that we were establishing, at least until we can get the farms working. I want to get these roads done first. I, I want these to all be gravel. This is a really far distance. Um, but until we get all this stuff working, uh, we'll just buy crops from the border. I think uh, we should work on our second city, which is Cernakova. It's right over here. Then we're going to have our third city, which is going to be over here. And I'll talk about that later. Okay, so Cernakova is I haven't moved any of these yet, and I don't think I will because they're just in this perfect opportune position where they can reach everything. At least that's what I remember them being anyway. Let's double check that. I have moved buildings around, so water substation can reach every building. The entire area is covered by this, which is great. Uh, same goes for the sewage tank. This should be covering everything. Even if I move that far, it totally is. Yep. So I've got flexibility. I can expand. Yep. Easy. Okay, so these two, I think I want to keep them there. So what I want to do with this, I think, is create maybe... I was going to do like two houses back to back like this. Uh, we'll take our, our, our prefab flats or whatever they're called, right? These, these flats here. And uh, I'll have this one facing the road. That should be okay. And then this one will also face the road, but it's, it's obviously going to be interacting with the walking path instead. And if we line these up, which I totally can't use the grid for because my entire map is not grid-like. I think the next city, maybe we'll try using the grid for a little bit more stuff. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, actually, part of me wants to just do it like this because we can have the walking path go between these two things. I just want a different design. I don't need it to be, you know, perfectly optimal. I just want something different. And that's kind of what I'm looking for here. So something a little bit different. So... Let's say here is where that one is. So we have these three houses that are kind of designed like that. There's a little tiny courtyard kind of thing in between these. 
Then we have the sewer and the water, followed immediately by uh, a couple more. And I think this is fine. As long as that walking path can get there, this is going to be fine. So we're going to do about like this. Uh -huh. And then we go uh, like this over here. So this one will face the road on this side. About there. That should be good. And then on this side, I don't think I can fit it because the path is kind of curved here. So I think I need to remove that path. But I might be wrong. There might be a special spot here where it will work. I don't think so, though, because it just curves into where I need to place this building. Um, we could, of course... Maybe look to, to go diagonal. And no, I think I need to remove this. So we'll have these two. And then I think what I want to do here is I want to tear down some extra stuff anyway. So I want to get rid of this walking path. And I'm going to also remove this path up to about here and this path to here. We get rid of those things. And then I'm also going to remove uh, you at least from, I think, the whole thing. I think we're going to remove this whole thing too uh, up from here to here too all right so we'll get the demo offices on those now i don't know if they can auto search that far uh they can so they should be able to see those um I, I don't believe however that these guys will do it automatically so i need to get the other demolition office and that is i forget where that is is it here no it's it's i thought it was right in this area ah right there this demo office, we need to also bring over and just say, hey, guys, go ahead and do these things, okay? Get on get on these. And so we're going to make a road, uh, an actual road road that goes between these two buildings to here. And then from there, Medical University. Medical University right here. It's got this sort of grandiose entrance kind of thing going on with it. Uh, which I, I'm going to like. I think I'm going to pull it back from the road just a little bit, like maybe there. And I think with a road here, asphalt road right here, we should see uh, maybe even the one that was sidewalks. The thing is, it used to be, it used to be that you'd use the asphalt roads with the streetlights and sidewalks, and that was going to give you the, the fastest travel speed. But we just don't have that anymore. We, we just, it just doesn't, doesn't work that way anymore. Now, it's all about these walking paths. And so maybe just a standard old gravel road with the asphalt walking paths running down next to it would be better. I don't know. But I think that's going to be our Cernakova housing situation. It should give us about 2,000 people. And that 2,000 people can easily work this area as well as staff the coal mine. Now, the coal mine is kind of bare for people most of the time. Every once in a while, we'll see... The bus will come up and six people will be here. The prisoner buses will come up here and, you know, they'll drop off. But in the winter time, it's really hard to get here on time. So I often see this doing really well in the spring, summer, fall, and then doing horribly in the winter. And that's unfortunate because, like, well, <laughs> this is when we use all of our coal. But uh, we are d doing okay on power. We're doing okay on heat. I don't seem to have any issues with the current setup as it is and keeping people heated and keeping people powered on. So it really just becomes, you know, just hit the button and uh, bring people in, which is what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to start uh, as soon as this walking path is done. My goodness. When exactly are you guys going to finish this? This 0.86 tons of asphalt that's just not delivered yet. Come on. Come on. Finish this so I can bring people in. Uh, actually, I want to bring people in over here, too. So let's just get a couple people brought in over here, too. We're going to go with some experts here and then uh, regular immigrants there, too. So we're down to 96,000. Now, this is post. This is post. Uh, oh, I've also I've done this already, too, over there. So I, I brought in some extra people right before recording. I wanted to be um, I wanted to be upfront about that because I, I think I missed recording that part. Uh, it was it was click, click, click. And then I looked at my unemployment list and I went, well, it's still zero. Let's record the episode. I don't care. Anyway, so brought in some immigrants this month. It's January and uh, spent 170000 on that. There are There's no debt. I've also cleared that too. So this money is all post debt and post immigrants uh, being invited, which is kind of cool. And I think now we see people walking. That's what we wanted right there. We want to see people walking up this path and getting to 
clothing factory. So now we have a walking path to there. Yes, you can get there, which is good. Awesome. All right. And then uh, what about these guys? Can you get there? Not yet. What's the limitation on that? Okay, you have to go the, the long way. It's because you don't have a path this way. So I need to fix this. I, this whole thing gets fixed, I think, by just going like this. From here to there. If I can just build that, then I think this entire situation gets fixed. And then you guys could also walk to clothing. And then I was kind of hoping you guys would be able to walk to fabric. But I just don't think that's ever going to be possible. I've, I've added enough paths here to make that hopefully happen. But nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. The only thing I can think of is they can maybe go to the bus stop to work, right? If that whole extension of walking thing works with work schedules too, I have no idea. Um, but we could have them come to the bus stop to work and then just change the route to where they, they already don't. They're not going to load any workers. And so it ends up being like you walk to the bus stop to work. There's nowhere to work because the buses aren't picking you up. And then you walk to a work spot, right? That could be a thing if, if that really is how how it works it, it might just be a needs and passenger thing but um yeah I, i'm hoping that we can uh i can get them to walk to the fabric but it doesn't look like that's going to happen so it, it just means that the cable cars have more to do there uh okay so yeah cernakova i think we, maybe we focus on on that for a little bit so we have an electric substation here. I believe that's the only one I've placed, and that won't be enough for everything. So I'm going to add another one right over here, I think. Maybe right across from the heater. And, of course, we have to provide heat for these guys, too, which is... Uh, that's potentially a problem. I think this substation should maybe be on this side. Yeah, right near the university. I think I'm going to put it, like, right here. And we'll just put this like that... Oh, you're not going to let me because of the walking paths, eh? There it goes. Uh, and then to get power here, we're going to tap into this over here. So we want to get a transformer. And I think we'll probably place it a little way, a little bit away from the city because I, I want to be able to expand if, if needed. But uh, I'm now starting to see that I didn't place this nearly close enough. I placed it way over here. So uh, maybe right over across the tracks. I feel like this is walking distance for some things, though. So I might want to hold off on that. Uh, let's put it right here. Let's say right here will be our uh, transformer. And then uh, from here, we'll just take this road. We'll say that the road comes out this way and just hooks up like so. Then we get our power areas here. We're not going to need a whole lot of power to this place, I wouldn't think. But this could also reinforce power over in this area. Because we do have a power uh, power transformer here that's going to provide power to this area. But we may not have enough capacity over on that. So uh, it's possible that I should try to maybe reinforce that. So how about we try this instead? Um, instead of doing a small high voltage wire to here... Why don't instead we do a switch? And that switch can go right up next to it is fine. Like that. Uh, then we'll take the 4 megawatt. Eh, fine. 6 megawatt. Eh, 8 megawatt. <laughs> is it really necessary though? I mean, like, what are they? They're not producing anything. They got prison. They got the. They're not, they're not producing anything. Let's, let's not spend more than we have to here. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be all right with, with four, but I'm going to do six. All right. Stop being indecisive. Uh, though, even though there's a six between that, I think we'll go ahead and put a 10 off of this just to make sure we have the capacity. And then that 10 is going to head all the way over like so. And if I could just save a little bit of cash by going one at a time here, pull it back. There we go. You pay by the pole, not by the cable. So if you're ever wanting to save money on your power poles and you're okay with them sagging lower because that's ultimately what they're going to do is they're going to sag a little lower too. Uh, if you're okay with that though, then that's how you make them longer right there. All right. And then from there, we have 10 coming in, six transferring this way up to six. But 
I think maybe we don't necessarily want a four here, so we can also put a six this way too. Uh, obviously, they're not going to be able to pull six in both directions, but if one is more than the other, then it gives the capacity for it to adjust. And then what I'll do is I'll have this one go out this way. And then it'll come out this way. We're just going to kind of keep it. You know, to keep the theme of running power this direction like this. And then I want another transformer, I think. Uh, right. Right here, I think. We're going to do a transformer right over here. Maybe that's... Uh, no, I think maybe here. Because it needs to come in where I can actually get the lines to go through. And that's going to be right here. So we'll put another transformer here. So where's my six lines? My six lines are there. And we'll come over this way. And then you are going to go right there. All right. That sets up the infrastructure that we need for power. At least to produce and, and distribute power. Uh, produce is already done. Sorry. Just to, just to distribute it. Uh, I'm going to put another substation, I think, over on this side. Maybe right here. Would be a good thing to kind of just splitting the connections and everything, right? So put another one right here. And I think these three should be all right. I don't, I don't think there's a reason to have any more than these three. I'm pretty sure, anyway. So we want to get construction going on the heat exchanger... And on, we're going to need to redo waste disposal stuff too because waste is all over the place. Uh, we're going to want to also get and make sure that we're getting roads done, which is difficult to do, unfortunately, because I it's like you, you should do this differently. And I think the next city I will do it differently. You should build your roads and then build your walking paths. Um, if you try to do them both at the same time, you end up with these very choppy, tiny little projects, which isn't a huge deal if you're on auto search and that's the only project you have. But auto search at that distance when there's other things going on, this is pretty difficult. To, uh, if you need mechanisms or workers, it becomes even more of a pain in the butt to do it this way. I think the Okeen supermarket is okay. I'm tempted to change this into the other big one. But I think it's going to be okay. If it's not okay, though, then replacing it is a bitch. And, you know, I think maybe there's space here for the big one, right? Uh, where is it? Residential and then shopping center. Like, there is definitely enough space for the regular shopping center to be here and then I don't have to worry about the Okeen being good enough I'm gonna take it out I just I need to make sure that this is gonna work so the regular shopping center will go here instead it can still everything can stay hooked up to the same place it was hooked up to before and uh, we end up being like maybe here and then this road just goes we'll make it an asphalt road might as well and it goes in curved like that I guess uh, if you're gonna make these roads you might as well make them all right so just make them asphalt get it over with no need no need to remake these things all right so I'm gonna let it run for a little bit here so that I can get some of this stuff completed but I did want to talk about some of the things we have to do with this right because we need to heat this and our heating plant is way over here all right even if I did want to take a, a, a pipe and bring it all the way over here that would lose it would lose all of its heat before it gets here it's absolutely too far away you cannot heat uh, a building from that far away it just won't work even with the pumps and stuff you just can't uh, it's gonna lose all of its heat so we need another heating plant here which means we need coal brought here now because we have the coal mine that seems like it should be pretty straightforward to do um but all of the coal is concentrated in this area. It was never intended to be produced over here. It was intended to be, with logistics, transported over here. And what I think I want to do is put a small heating plant in here. I think a small one would be acceptable for this for a city this size. We won't need any heat over here. So it's just this little area here. I believe a small one is going to be sufficient for this little town. So. Um, I'm going to try a small heating plant. It says the maximum production per day is 42 gigajoules. 
uh, as opposed to 210. Can I see what you are currently producing? You're at 72% capacity. Yeah, I, I think... I wish I could like really narrow down exactly how many gigajoules you're using right now. Uh, how much power you're using. Can I see that at all anywhere? Is there like an overlay for this? I mean, I can see the interior temperatures, but... And the tanks are getting hotter. Yeah, I mean... All right, I think... I think the small one is fine for a city this size. So we're going to say small heating plant. Now, this doesn't produce nearly as much pollution as the big one does, um, which is a great thing for us to know because it means that we don't have to uh, have it so far away. So I'm going to put it, I think, right here. And this should be close enough because you can see it's 350 meters from that home. It should be close enough for the houses and stuff to just, they should just walk here, right? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put it, I think, right about here. And then... We'll make this a gravel road. And then we'll have a walking path that actually properly gets them over here. Apparently, you are going to be a butt. So, I'm going to just take you out from this. And then bring gravel road across like so. And then, with that done, we can get the regular little road. Bring that back over. F4. And hook that back up so they're not interrupted. All right. Now, to get coal here, though, we need storage for it. And uh, we could have two options, really. Uh, we can either do a small one or a big one. There's also other, you know, aggregate storages now. So I could maybe mix and match a little bit here. I don't think I need a thousand tons here. But if I did a thousand tons, it means less trips for logistics, which means the distribution office can do more other jobs before it brings things here. So the bigger my storage here, the more time I have between deliveries is basically what I'm saying. Um, so maybe we do a 2000 here just to keep it. That's really super big, man. Now I'm not going to bother with that. We're going to do a thousand. 1000 is fine. And we're going to have it hook up to the road kind of like this. Uh, it should be... I'm kind of wanting it on that side now. Eh. No. I think we'll bring it back here. This is fine. We'll bring it back. We'll bring it back here. Let's flatten this out. We'll do it about like this. And then you will just go there. That's high enough for a road, isn't it? Yes, no. Yes, it is. Perfect. Cool. So let's send a road under there just to make sure I can do it. Okay. So from this point, we can either have trucks deliver this or we're going to have the train. I always intended to have the train do this. So the train doing this, this is not going to exist forever. Okay. But that doesn't mean we can't have this split here existing later and moving over to something else. With this in the way, it's a little bit more complicated, but I don't think it needs to be because all I need to do is have one track, one cargo train station. No, it's aggregate. I mean, aggregate unloader, right? This little tiny aggregate unloader is more than sufficient to do what I need it to do. And so we're just going to have an, an aggregate unloader. I want to, I think I want to flip it. So the road is on the other side. There we go. And can have this aggregate unloader. Ooh, that might actually get in the way of the road. All right. I need the road on the other side then. Never mind. And we'll put it, I think maybe like right here. It's, it's close to like that. Yep. Right. Like that. And now the train can just come on in here and deliver it. So we're going to eventually electrify this track later, right? And it's not necessarily going to be this one uh, as far as where this goes. But there is going to be a junction here already. And so I think a part of that junction, whenever I make this little, um, you know, the, the place where all these tracks meet each other, um, we could get it to come this way too. And then this will end up being where that comes in. It's just one track, one train comes in and does its thing and then leaves, right? It's a pretty simple thing to do. Uh, of course, we need 155 meters because it's going to be distribution office. And so one, 178, piece of cake, right? So I just, I can now take it from here if I wanted to, eh, I guess I kind of do. From here, and I can come over and just be like that. And then also like that. Right, I could do that. Uh, it's only one train coming in here at a time, and that train is making a delivery without the other one involved, I would think. So 
because uh, we're not gonna have that many hopper cars right like you might think okay what if there's another train coming to deliver it too and it's like okay well in order to do that the train would have to have hopper cars and if i don't give the distribution office very many hopper cars then it doesn't generate too many trains and so what i'll end up having is i'll probably have like four hopper cars and as soon as it generates a train to come over here and deliver that train is only going to have you know four hopper cars or something and, and so there aren't any more hopper cars for another train to be generated however if that does become an issue um i can just make this train longer i can make the track longer come all the way out here maybe uh i can have a little bypass route on this maybe we'll see it's not that hard to amend this thing once this is out of the way it's not that hard to amend the plan right this technical service is going to take care of garbage which i don't have a problem with yet uh garbage let's take a look at that so garbage for all this many people we're going to need several of these things so i'm thinking we need one right here it's a good spot for it uh i got another one right here if i can fit it no no how about across the road you fit that right there right yeah as long as it's not in the way of the the way of the uh power hookup i think it'll be fine uh right next to this place would be a really good place to do it but i'm not allowed denied okay i can always do it on the other side though here uh let's do another one maybe in this little spot here and then uh probably one more this is where a road's gonna be, so we don't want to get in the way of it. Um, but this isn't this isn't in the way of it. I can I can actually have two of these. Yeah, so two of those right there, and then a road can come through here. And they already deleted this, so I can get rid of this, and I can make my road now. So asphalt road from this point. No. Oh, it's a walking path connection. No, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. What's the deal here? Uh, I think I'm actually getting too close to this. Where's the walking path connection for this? On that side? That's not too bad. I think we can make that work. Yeah, that's that's totally fine. Uh, so we're going to bring this all the way across, and it's going to pop it in right about there. Should be okay. Just double checking to make sure the walking path can connect. Totally can totally can uh okay that's gonna be another uh, another road for us to have built over in Cernakova. all right big main road leading up to the medical university which i'm just gonna put the sidewalk one in here because i can maybe we should do like a little cul-de-sac thing Ooh, that could be fancy right i mean it's completely unnecessary but that's a medical university that's what medical universities do. Completely unnecessary roads like this. Giant universities with grandiose roadways, right? That's what we're going to do. There you go. Uh, okay, so Cernakova is uh, ready to rock and roll. Heat exchanger is getting built. So the heat exchanger is a big heat exchanger. Now that's interesting. I chose a big one. But I chose a small heating plant. So I can put... The small pipe, I think. Yep. I can put the small pipe in here. But then I'm only getting a third of this capacity. Rather than doing that, I could instead do a heating pumping station. I think this is the best course of action here. I could put a heat pumping station here. All right. Actually, it'd probably be better on the other side, wouldn't it? It would more align with where my pipes are, at least. Yeah, so I'm going to put it on this side instead. Get rid of that. So what we're going to do instead, we're going to use a pumping station, and that, that's going to allow me to combine the pipes. All right, so we're going to send all these little pipes. I'm going to send one around and get it into there. This one is going to go around. We just have it. That's fine. And then it'll go into there. Okay, and then finally we have this one comes around. Now, don't be discouraged by the fact that these inputs all look like outputs. They're not. There's three inputs and one output. Okay, now that gets me these three combined. So then I take the big pipe, right? So these are each 100. I have 300 capacity pumping in. 
And then I have the big pipe coming out that feeds into this. And this is, of course, going to be the shortest point is, is straight. So we'll do that. That lets me pump in 300 units, 300 cubic meters uh, from the small one and then merge it into one big one right there. All right. So that's my heating solution. For power, we already have that sorted. We just have to get everything built, and then I'll start making the lines. Uh, water. Water. Water, water, water. So, currently we have only one substation. I think that's probably okay, but uh, having some sort of tank, some sort of reservoir would be a good idea. We also need a well. We also need uh, the water to be treated. Now, we could send the water from Charlobinsk and provide water to Cernakova from Charlobinsk. We could. We actually have the capacity to do that. What I worry, though, is that as I expand Charlevance this way, I will struggle with that capacity. I also struggle with the insane costs associated with a big water pipe to funnel, like, to feed an entire city or to have an entire city supported uh, by sending it this way. What I would rather do is set up a water treatment plant here that people can, uh, you know, work at. And then have this water treatment plant be self-sufficient for Cernakova, especially if I expand this direction and have more, more places to live. And also provide drinking water into these workplaces so that I don't have to do it from the Charlevance supply. And then that way the Charlevance supply is available for the expansion in that direction and potentially for as we go over the highway and get to Charlevance North. So I, I think that's what we're going to do instead. Uh, we're going to take a large well... We want the large water well. And as long as you can get it to where nothing is in the area, you got to be able to walk there, but you just got to have nothing really in the area. So I think across the highway is fine. Yeah, across the highway works pretty well. You we can go right about here. That's A-OK -okay with me. And then it goes out that direction. So we could have the water treatment plant. And we'll do a big one. So we can... No. Because you're only supplying it to this area. Now I have to wonder if the big water well is necessary. We could just do two small wells. Two small wells... Would likely work better. I don't think any of the recycling plants and stuff... Yeah, we're going to do two small wells instead. Now we don't even need workers for the well. Two small wells, they just have to be clo uh, far apart from each other. And they, of course, take power. So two small wells, we'll put one maybe over on this side. I just want to make sure I stay away from any place where there's potential tracks coming. So let's say it's maybe right here. And then another one can be right here. We're going to start at 95% water quality, which is an excellent place to start. This is more expensive in the sense of building, you know, these two different units are going to cost me more than... It's always cost more to build three separate small wells than it does to build one big well. Uh, and it costs more power as well. And then, of course, you have more costs in the piping. But because you don't need workers consistently, you always have an always-on power supply, provided, of course, you have... Uh, sorry, always-on water supply, provided you have power. Uh, so we can make sure that the water, the power is always on by going like this. That will connect to that well just fine. And we'll just have the roads kind of coming over here. These like service roads sort of thing coming this way. You there, and then we'll have you come over uh, like that. A little service road like that. Okay. Water treatment plant. We can go with a small one then. And because this is going to pump out 70 cubic meters each. So that's 140. And then this can treat 100 and 120 at max which is okay so we want this to be close enough for people to walk to which i'm pretty confident that this is so we'll place this over here and i want it to where the inputs are on that side and the outputs are facing the other way and we of course have a limitation with outputs here as well so understanding that we uh hmm yeah, the output limitations are a little bit concerning, actually. Well, we'll just have to use splitters and stuff. It's, it, I think it's going to be fine. Put, put this right here, let's say. And we'll most likely make walking paths directly to here, too. 
from this spot here, I can take a bridge and bring it over. If there's enough room for a bridge, there may not be enough room. So we make a tunnel. <laughs> so we make a tunnel. Uh, let's just try the bridge first. Concrete always. If we can get the bridge to come over across this, then I'm all right. Good. We're, we're good. I didn't think it would do it, but hey, you don't know until you try it. So let's try right there like that. And then a simple walking path to get to the water there. Okay. And then this one can go like that. And then you connect there, you connect there, you connect there, there, and there. Might as well start connecting this other stuff too, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Plenty of workers. We have this little area in the middle. I may, I may put like a fountain or something in here. I, I may not do this instead. There's not a whole lot of room between these two buildings though. So it's, it's not like I can put, I mean, maybe a tennis court would fit there. I guess uh, I could, I could always check uh, tennis football playgrounds too. Oh my God. No, I don't think that's going to work though. Cause you're blocking all the walking paths. So I'm not going to do that. But that is kind of cool. Uh, maybe a volleyball court instead. How about volleyball? Who wants to play volleyball? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think this is an, it's just a little bit too, it's just a little bit too wide because I'd like to get the walking paths going through. What if I do that first? What if we go like this? I want to have this path come between here. Okay. And then I want you to come all the way over like that. Yep. And then from here, we go straight over like that. Can you connect? It's, it's really, really small. So I don't know if you're going to let, it doesn't let that happen. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. That would have been cool if you did. How about a little bit further away? Would you, would you connect if I did it here? Even if it's just this side. Yeah, it's just one side has to connect. I don't need both sides to do it. Uh, and then for you to come like this, I guess. I know it's not straight. Definitely angled, but it's all in the name of getting these to connect. <laughs> I, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, we could we could totally just do that. And then, you know, on the other side, we could we just do this. Right? Done. This side connects in the middle. Done. Right? It doesn't have to be super complicated. It just won't look like all squared off or whatever, but volleyball court could go right here. Yeah, it could be right there. Volleyball. Uh, how about, how about uh, basketball, volleyball court? This is going to be too big, right? No. Basketball and volleyball. It's too big. Okay. Uh, how about this little football playground? That's too big. And this is the tennis playground is what I thought we could fit in here initially, but that's even too big now. So volleyball it is. By default, volleyball is what you guys get. You're welcome. <laughs> And uh, just make sure that that's connected. No big deal. Put it on that side too. Why not? I guess if it fits. There it goes. There it goes. Piece of cake. We got volleyball in the middle of these areas with a ton of walking paths. You can put a bunch of trees in there. Seems good, man. I'll just fill this area with trees too. Why not? There we go. Okay. Definitely have some time that needs to go by before this stuff is built, right? That's, that's the real big thing right now is that time needs to pass. Let's check the used car market. Go to track builder. Mm, okay. Don't have anything. That's fine. Train sets. I could spend the spare money, honestly, on electrifying my rails. I just really want to get, uh, oh, actually research wise, we got the advanced engineering done. So now we can go. It's semiconductors, which is going to let us do that. There's also advanced engineering here. Study on advanced engineering and mechaniz mechanization. After study, we will be able to project the production of complicated machines. I'm sorry, what? Production of complicated machines. What are you talking about? Oh, I see. This is like down the path of being able to make your own cars and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm not anywhere close to being able to do that yet. Maybe we go down forest study. 
Yeah, because like I don't there's not really a reason why I have to keep painting trees on this ground. We should have him just doing it for us. So I'm just going to go down. I know it's really exciting stuff for a study. Uh, and then if we wanted some extra dollars, we could go with power grid connection, Western countries. But like that's going to require us to have. Well, uh, construction crews come way out here. That's not going to happen. Uh, oh, speaking of construction crews coming way out someplace, uh, let's check steel really quick. The rail is coming along. It's almost out here. In order to build this, obviously construction crews need to get out here. But we're not going to do that because instead we're going to have uh, construction crews already out here. Since construction offices don't require workers, we could just place it out here, buy vehicles, have them travel out here. It's already a source of fuel out here. Right? At least for a little while. Um, I have this disconnected from the distribution office now, so I might get a, a proper gas station out here now. And uh, so I, I kind of get uh, another construction office or two out here. I was thinking maybe just the 16 could be okay. It's an acceptable uh, fit here, but there's a lot of stuff to build. And uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff to build out here. Like It's going to be a very, very big project out here. So the 24 office is, I think, what we're going to do instead. And this 24 office, we can put this, I think maybe over here is probably an acceptable spot. It's just the, the problem is I really don't know how dense this is going to be for production's sake. Maybe right next to this, maybe right next to this here like this instead. Right next to the rail, we're going to put a construction office. And then obviously I still need to build that. So we'll tell construction crews to come out and do that. Uh, minus workers, just get everything delivered and then I'll bring the workers out afterwards. Um, but to deliver that construction materials, we need, you know, steel, we need all mechanical components potentially. So I need at least one open storage and one warehouse to build the stuff that I need. So cargo train station, cargo train station. If I can have, yep, that's what I'm looking for. Cargo train station, and I'm hoping we can just do something like this. Maybe here. Like this. So what will end up happening here is the construction office will come out. They'll go up and pick up their goods that they have to pick up from a warehouse that will be a small one. Small warehouse right here. This is fine get these roads connected and then comes down and connects like that there we go okay and then uh, on the other side is our open our open storage and we're just gonna use I could do a big one because there's gonna be a lot of materials here so I'm, I think I'm all right with that just do a big one and uh, let's say this should be good as long as it lets me place it yeah hold down the button good to go and this has its own input as well. I could probably do two roads here, but nah, it's okay. So that's it. That's the delivery mechanism. Train comes in from the rail, drops it off. And obviously it's distribution office again. So this will just take care of it for us. It will come in. It'll pick up all these goods, prefab panels, steel, boards, bricks, etc. Uh, it'll obviously be delivering bricks to different locations. We're actually going to just have it pick up bricks from here to deliver it there. It's a closer trip anyway. Um, and I don't have enough, I really don't have enough vehicles that are constantly delivering bricks here. So I think I should probably alter this a little bit. Have you just taking bricks from here and, uh, bringing them over here, unloading them like this. I, I need at least one truck doing this because without that, then construction crews have to keep coming all the way out here for that. And I don't want that. I don't want them to have to do that. Uh, this is done. That's pretty pleasant. Um, have they started the bridge yet? No, of course not, because there are no bricks. <laughs> no bricks here. Well, tell you what. Uh, distribution office. Hi, how are you? We could have this taking care of it. But since you're already... I think you're already doing this, aren't you? Are you not doing this yet? You're not. That is interesting. Um, I'm going to have you. Nope. You know what? Take that back. Cook it up to this directly. That way, when you deliver the bricks, you're only delivering it uh, to your actual capacity for bricks. 
We're also out of steel here. Ooh, fancy. Well, you know what? That's what this is for. This thing is for that. So you're also going to take steel, and you can bring that in bigger quantities now. And then, I mean, we're going to get low on steel eventually. We're going to have to buy steel eventually. That's what the train's for. And I think the next trip, maybe we will allow you to pick up some steel along with the crops. And then you can, uh, you know, drop off the steel here when you're, when you're done doing that. Okay, so yeah, I need to let this run. I need to let everything build and all these things. I'm not entirely sure how long I'm going to do that between videos, but uh, without, without having citizens that can do the job, we are going to struggle to be productive. And uh, I, there's no point really in, in you know, building the steel industry, building anything until we have the workers to actually work it. And what I'm hoping happens is that when Cernakova is built, not only does this add a new place for people to go, we're also going to buy a lot of citizens here. We're going to invite a whole bunch of citizens in here. But not only does it provide that mechanism for everyone to be here, um, it gives us a lot more workers, but it also allows us to have more workers working in the coal mine. And because we have uh, more people working in the coal mine, we will need less people from Charlemans to be brought here. All right. And so with that being done, because they're working a full eight-hour shift after being in the tr in the car for four hours, right? So it's it's just like your whole day is shot. Well, how are you going to go and get the things that you demand, right? So it's just working all day. So I can't have that. And I have it set to 100 max because there's periods of time where we have nobody here. And then there's periods of time where we can fill up. So it's very... It's very intermittent. There's a, it's sort of a, a surge in, in people as opposed to being consistent. And that's okay for something like coal ore. Uh, it's not okay for power, but it's okay for coal ore. And uh, as you can see, we are more than good on coal ore. Uh, so I'm hoping I can actually probably afford to set up another connection point. Maybe get some more power exports going. That's going to happen uh, over here. This is a new city we're going to do over here too, but... Uh, I'm, I'm not ready to discuss that city yet. When Cernakova is up and running, then we'll take a look at what this city's going to do. Because uh, this city has a purpose. It's going to provide labor to the meat industry. We're not going to do it from over here. It's it's not not worth it. So um, we're going to provide... Cernakova is going to work in the coal, prison, all the services that they do require, medical university, and the scrapyard. That's, where, that's what Cernakova is all about. That's it. If I really want to get more people over here to work in the livestock area, I guess. But this little town, there's going to be a little town over here. And they are going to work in meat and uranium mine. Because we're going to need a few people to work in the uranium mine, as well as the uranium processing that goes along with that. We're going to turn it into uranium oxide over here as well. We are not going to go down the UF6. Uh, not here anyway. We will do that somewhere else because that pollutes a lot more. And uh, we can also potentially expand this town to be even bigger and bigger as we move out this way. Because there's a lot of space here to, to do that. And uh, Or I'll just put in more fields. But I don't know yet. Uh, as soon as I've got all uh, these roads being gravel, then I can uh, start to look at distribution offices and building things out and all that stuff too. I just I don't want to connect the fields until I have the roads done. Okay. I'm talking your ear off now. So I think I'm going to leave you here. It's a little bit of a shorter video, but... You can see, I, I don't have a whole lot I can do until these... I, I need stuff to build, okay? I don't want to plan things out and then just be like, oh, I have to undo this plan. Uh, I want things to build for a little while. So I'm going to let it run and let it build for a little while, okay? Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.